hello everyone welcome and welcome again and this is the continued session on the online movie ticket booking project and in this session we'll see how can the controller things working how can we serve it is working and how can we use that all the things which we have discussed in the previous sessions data utility data validator and property readers and all the things so <clears throat> the very first if i'm gonna execute the project you can see that project is here and right now i'm on the welcome mm, controller it means the i'm on the welcome.jsp page let's see the code of this design so here you can see the file welcome.jsp so what this file is existed doing as it include a header and include a footer and in between this code between this division we are dividing uh we are we are dividing this in multiple uh divination like the header is there the footer is there and this is my body part so in this body we are just printing two messages and if you know about the html it will be easily understand uh, what the things is doing division and all if you don't know about this you need to understand the html code so just go google and search about the HTMLs and how the classes are linked and uh, how the uh, division we can we can divide it and that's it so uh, for, for, for for this project we are just adding a, a heading here so now let's move to the login login process and check the complete flow step by step so when i click on this sign in button sign in header link so it will open this message it means right now it's on login controller so let's switch to the uh, IDE and check the login view so this is the login view so again we are getting the same header same footer and some body part so I include the header here and the footer here and let's talk a little bit about this things how this body part is working so if you know about the form and uh, so it will be easy to understand so the login form is a start from here and it's gonna end here so what exactly this login form is doing so let, let's set it to increase a little bit okay so now we are performing some input operation you can you, you can see the first input is URI and uh, the main input is there like for the name and the password login ID for the password so input text field here enter the login ID and enter the password <coughs> and there should be a button so here is a button for the sign in and the second button for the sign up so, so when user click on this sign in button <coughs> the data will go to this action so here we have action is called login controller now it's hit to the servlet and let's switch to the controller now and just check the url controller and you can see the login controller here so what the path is following so you can see it's calling otb view dot login it means it will first redirect on this uh, interface which is otv view and here it will search for login ctl so if i move to the login ctl where it is up to search okay. okay login ctl login ctl means it's kind of url which we are managing uh, in this interface like it's a otv view it's a uh, this file is responsible to manage the complete url of that application so if you remember the previous session i have shown you like how can we manage the urls so um, we are directly passing the url in this action in this action so this time to reuse reuse the urls or um, to reduce the redundancy we are using the things in this pattern so app context is a variable where i put my project name and here if you see if you, if you check the example of login.ctl login ctl we are calling app context dot login control it means the project name slash login control so it will return 
exactly it will return the project name and this the url of this servlet indirectly if we talk it will redirect the url of this login.control so when user click on the sign button it will perform action on this and it will hit the post method on the servlet so let's switch to the login.control here inside this servlet let directly switch to the post method so here we have a post method <coughs> so the data will comes from the gate parameter like if you remember uh, the old or previous tutorials like uh, <coughs> we are getting the data here from the gate parameter things similarly what we are doing here we are getting the data in the do post and performing the operation accordingly and pass the data to uh, database so here uh, what we did uh, we just 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 create a let's try to understand from here we create an object of user model class which is come from the database so this is from database object of object of database class and <clears throat> object of database again object of database class for the role so it's kind of login so first it will check the role also database class for to check the role to check the role so what kind of user it is so now <coughs> we see we are calling data utility dot get long and we are passing the request dot get parameter id it means uh, from where here we are passing a id let's search me where it is where, where is the id mm -hmm. so here so we are passing a id here which is a hidden input field and we are passing a id from here this id will get by this parameter and call the data utility method which i have shown you in the utility util tutorial from the data utility and it will get long value and this will be unique id now it will create an object of user bean now we'll call a method from authenticate so authenticate method is from the authenticate method is from the model so this is from the user model and we'll pass the bean.get and get password we are passing to parameter here so let's switch to the uh, authentication method and check the functionality of this so this method will take it to a string login and the password and communicate with the database select a string from the t user where login equals to this and password equals to this so we are set to value here login and the password and check and execute the execute the query so it's, this time we are using execute query because execute query we are not passing execute update because we are just retrieving the data we are not updating the table <coughs> so if the object of result set will get some data it will create uh, it will create an object of bean class and add the data again and again so it will return a kind of uh, uh, if the data it will return or uh, it, it will get all the details of that particular user where the username is this and the password is this and finally it will return the bean object of that user bean so <coughs> indirectly in this bean we are getting the authentication user uh, the detail of the authentication user so now we put a condition if bean is equal to not null it means the bean is not null then set attribute now we are passing we are creating a session for like if user is successfully logged in it means the user is correct then we are creating creating a session and and add a id creating a session for the with a unique id called user and passing the bean here bean object here and this is the maximum interval of the session like if the application goes idle for this particular time then session will be automatically invalidated so now 
get the role id so bean dot get role id again i'm getting a role id if uh, <coughs> role id will be one two or three then uh, according to this we'll perform the operation so we are passing the um, we are passing we are calling the redirect method it means the it, if this code will execute it means the bean is not null and the data is successfully user is successfully logged in and we are redirecting the th same things on the welcome dot uh, welcome controller and <coughs> so utility servlet utility let's move to the servlet utility and check the redirect method here so you can see the redirect method is there it will take a page name and the request and the response and it will redirect the page send redirect the page to a particular uh, location so what location we are passing from here so we are so we are passing here the welcome controller so it will redirect to the welcome controller so according to the response it according to the uh, uh, requirement it will return or uh, according to the credential or the data it will return the response from here so we'll keep that condition there and uh, <coughs> so it's uh, all about the do post and so according to the database like if i'm gonna return some if i'm gonna enter some valid user credential like for example i'm gonna pass the admin admin at the rate so admin and at the admin at the rate one two three so this time the data goes and redirect on the welcome controller so everything is fine i check the data and it's redirecting me on this what is in the login controller it's redirecting me on this page so where it is the page again otv view i'm gonna otv view and search for the welcome controller so where is the welcome controller it's here app context it means project name and the welcome controller now switch to the welcome controller what the exactly welcome controller is doing here if user is <coughs> successfully logged in and we switch to the welcome controller so here it is and exactly it's doing uh, like uh, the servlet is running on the server side when it get the request as a welcome dot controller the servlet will redirect the same request to the same request will then 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 the, 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 the this servlet will forward that request to the welcome view so what is the welcome view now o again switch to otv view and check the welcome view welcome view means view means it's a jsp part so where is the welcome view so here is a welcome view the page folder what is a page folder page folder is a variable it includes the jsp it means this folder so page view uh where it is again i missed that okay welcome view the page folder and welcome dot jsp now <coughs> this when when this servlet welcome view so will uh, welcome view uh, sorry welcome controller servlet will get the request it will forward the same request to the welcome view it means it will return to the request to the view part so that is the welcome view page view movie view I guess it's showing me some difference there. Okay, it will return to the welcome.jsp. So there it is. Okay, so <coughs> it will return me on this page, which is my welcome.jsp. Now, this time it's coming from the session, so it will show different uh, login credentials on the things. So how the things is working let me repeat it again so uh, it will hand it to you and this thing will really complicated like uh, it's a real time programming and you will get this programming in your companies uh, this enterprises and uh, at the level of enterprises appli uh, application when you are going to some working in the long project or the heavy projects uh, in your company in somewhere so you will get this kind of complex code 
so i'm trying to understand to explain you my best but uh, to understand this thing you need to cover the basics of everything like basics of html basics of servlet and everything so i'm just giving you here an overview <coughs> so let me repeat the same thing again when i re re redirect in the application when i log in the application it will come like this and the welcome page let me switch to again then so welcome page but the, the the welcome page without login when i click on the sign in it's come to the login view it means here it will come login view the login view will get all the data from here when user click on the submit button the data will redirect to the login controller so login controller will get the data here is the login controller login controller will get the data and check uh, the data is the login id and password is valid or not if it is valid it <coughs> it will ask uh, first it will ask to the database classes like what are the database classes here the model classes so it will ask to the database classes that user is valid or not so uh, the database class will return according to the according to the response of the database class uh, it will return to the view like if the, if the user is successfully logged in it means everything is fine it will redirect to the welcome.controller or if is there something uh, miss like a username is wrong or password is wrong it will return a message invalid login id and password so accordingly and uh, <clears throat> if everything is good for example let's uh, imagine uh, let's imagine like uh, everything is fine and it will redirect to the welcome dot controller so let's switch to the welcome dot controller and uh, it's redirect to the welcome dot controller so it's servlet things but we need to show some view to the user so again it will redirect to the welcome view welcome view it means you can check in the otv view it's a welcome.jsp file so it will redirect again to the welcome.jsp file and show the response accordingly so now this types this thing is working now the second case here you can see in case the login id password is wrong so what's happening here so for example i enter this so you will get the message invalid login id and password at the same page so what is doing like let's switch to the login controller and check here check check check, check this message so here what we are doing we are set a bean and request <coughs> and the error message set a error message so let's switch to the switch to the error message method and this method will contain a string and a request again switch to the servlet utility and check this method what this method is doing No, I just I, I, do, I don't want to come here. Okay, so this method a uh, method will set attribute uh, and uh, <coughs> that attribute will be your message. Your uh, that attribute will be your uh, message with, with message error message and the message will be come here and at the login view at the login view we are getting this message as a session message so you can see somewhere in this code let me show where is the get request get error message you can see here the servility uh, servlet utility dot guess get message and request we are getting this message here and we are displaying that message here we just uh, we just said the message from this you can see utility servlet error message set error message so we set the message from here and we are getting the message here get error message so the, that message we show here in the red color if everything is fine it will return the same success message and it will show in the green color so this thing hope this will help you to understand in the next session we'll see <coughs> the login is done we'll see the sign up process and then we'll see one by one aid movie movies and book list thank you